engine cooling system inspection select engine select engine cooling system select crater om select repair instruction select engine cooling system inspection uh, first we check for engine cooling system for any leakage or damage then remove the radiator cap uh, then check coolant proper level in radiator and check freeze protection and then check the cooling system pressure uh, pressure is uh, 1.23 bar or 1.3 kg of centimeter square Uh, check the cooling system hold the pressure if the pressure is uh, uh, decrease uh, there may be a leakage first we will check the uh, leakage of cooling system force connections no leakage found then remove the radiator cap check the coolant level if the level is uh, low please add coolant connect the attachment to radiator Connect the radiator pressure tester. Apply 17.8 PSI pressure in cooling system. Check for any uh, pressure dropping in gauge. There is no drop. If any drop is found, uh, coding system may leaking. Next, we will check the uh, cooling radiator cap. Attach the uh, radiator cap to the pressure tester and apply pressure. Uh, 13.5 to 17.8 psi in within the limit uh, no leakage uh, uh, no uh, pressure uh, reduce it will okay uh, after 17.8 the pressure uh, will be released from the radiator cap If the radiator cap while opening pressure is out of specification, replace the radiator cap. Attach the cap to pressure tester. We will applying pressure to cap. 13.5 to 17.8 PSI. Till okay, uh, the pressure is releasing after uh, 17.8 psi. Mm. Next, we will go to radiator cooling fan operation. Uh, 
radiator cooling fan assembly on vehicle inspection. Connect the SDT to the vehicle with the ignition off. Then turn on the ignition. Check for any DTC. If DTC is uh, there, uh, please clear the DTC. Uh, select active test. Select a radiator fan. And check uh, low speed and high speed in active test. Check for any DTC. Uh, no DTC. Going to active test. Select radiator fan. Start. Uh, condition is vehicle stop. Uh, accelerator pedal released. Coolant temperature below. AC switch off. No DTC. All the parameters are OK. Press execute. Select control low speed operation. The low speed is working. Select high speed. High speed is working, but the speed is low. Of the radiator fan. Then we will check the radiator fan relay number 2 and 3. Select the uh, relay inspection procedure uh, section 10B. We need to uh, inspect the relay first. Uh, check the relay terminal number 3 and 4 for any continuity. Uh, if the relay is good, there will be no continuity. Second, we will be check to relay number 1 and 2 for resistance. We are using type A relay. Uh, the resistance is 170 ohm at 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, then we will be check uh, check to uh, connect the battery positive and negative to relay terminal number one and two, and check uh, the continuity between three and four. If there is a need continuity. Uh, this the relay is good uh, no continuity uh, relay need to be replaced remove the negative terminal remove the number 2 relay first this is the uh, relay number 2 Select the multimeter to resistance mode and check the uh, resistance of lead wire. Found 2.1 ohm and connect the winding point of relay. Terminal number 192. Uh, the resistance is 
Uh, less the resistance of lead wire and found good uh, next we will checking the working of relay uh, uh, we need to connect uh, all the terminal switching point and pointing point we are connecting lead wire to the terminal and Connect the terminal number 1 and 2 to uh, battery terminal, positive and negative. Terminal number 1 and 2. Connect the battery positive and negative. And the other two terminal, uh, 3 and 4, connect the multimeter. In, uh, for checking continuity connect the relay to battery and select the multimeter to continuity The relay is good that means uh, number two relay is working next we will check number three relay this is the number three relay radiator three remove the relay from fuse box first check the a continuity between relay and, uh, terminal number 3 and 4 uh, there is no continuity next we will check the uh, resistance of terminal number 1 and 2 and found good next we will check the uh, relay working uh, and connect the battery to relay we are checking number 3 relay connect the terminal number 1 and 2 to battery and the, uh, check the continuity between terminal number 3 and 4 select the multimeter to continuity there is no continuity when connecting to the battery that means the relay is faulty for resolving the issue, we need to replace relay number 3.